everyone, the Nintendo 3DS eShop is literally about to go ahead and get discontinued very soon. So I wanted to take one last trip down memory lane. I did the same video I think like three years ago when the DSi shop you know, actually got shut down as well. And I really wish I did this for the Wii U, I just didn't get a chance to. But let's go and take a look at it on this specific device. Now, I have not been on the 3DS eShop in a long, long time. So it does look pretty much exact the same that I remember it. So at the very top, what it used to look like if you're watching this in the future, is we would have all the way at the end right here, of like a, basically like a carousel of different items. So we'd have settings and other. We would have the ability of adding funds to our 3DS eShop. Over here, we would have rate, titles, we would have match lists, all this other stuff. You could search for different, you know, different games or apps if you wanted to. And you would have charts, you know, all this other information, notes, and basically some of the titles that are basically available to download. So as you can see, I mean, we had Kirby, which was very cool. We had Mario and Luigi, which was really awesome. You had Luigi's Mansion you could download as well. Now, not every 3DS game was downloadable digitally. It's almost the same thing with Switch and all these other games. Not every game is available digitally. So there were still a lot of games that were actually available. Detective Pikachu was available here, which a demo was free. Nintendo Selects. I mean, there were a lot of games available here. So looking back, you know, for the people who will not be able to actually go into the 3DS eShop in the future, it is funny how, kind of, if you think about it, the Switch's eShop kind of did take a lot, like a ton of different overlap with this specific console. Now, we did have the ability of playing Minecraft on our 3DS as well. Mario Kart 7 was able to be downloaded. New Super Mario Bros. 2. There were tons of games available to download. And it's so funny looking at this one because it just kind of like brings a tear to my eyes that this thing's probably about to be discontinued. Now, at the bottom, you have some more, you know, basically categories of games you could go ahead and get. So if you wanted to, there were new releases, games with DLC. Now I want to go and click into new releases. I wonder what the newest release of the 3DS game was. And I don't think it's probably going to be like up to date, you know, up to, until today. But as you can see, technically, I guess the newest release was Silver Falls Gay Garden. I can't even read it from this angle. So you can kind of get an idea for yourself. So there was actually an update for Mario Kart 7. How long ago was this? So version 1.2, I think some of you may be able to do the math. And if we go and click into this one, let's go and see what we can basically see. So this is just an example of what you'd be able to get under new releases. So you can see, so I can't really see a date from where I'm at. Hopefully you guys can see it. When was this? December 13th, 2022. Wow, that actually wasn't that long ago. So this thing was still up to date up until 2022, not even like four months ago, which is pretty wild. So now if we go and click back, we can see what else we're working with. I mean, we had this update. We had probably a lot of other things here too. So again, I'll let you guys kind of get some nostalgia and kind of see what else was going on here. And it's probably gonna be the last time we're gonna be able to take a look at it. Now hopping back out, again, we had new releases, games with DLC. Now, it does take a long time for it to load, but the Switch is also kind of the same thing, too. There were a lot of free-to-start games, and there were free demos and indie games and 3D games as well. So let's see, based on that title, I mean, I'm sure Majora's Mask or Zelda Ocarina of Time was available under 3D games. So here we had, I don't know what this one was, what is it, Pokemon, some other stuff here, too. We had a lot of Pokemon games here, which is awesome. We had a lot of other games here too. Mario Kart 7 was still available. It's weird that Mario Kart 7 was the fastest one to load versus all the other ones. We had Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS. I forgot about that. We had Zelda. None of, what was this one? Majora's Max. Uh, Link Between Worlds. Amazing game. I played this one not too long ago. It was amazing. Super Mario 3D Land. Basically, all the heavy hitters, for the most part, you can download via the eShop, which is so awesome. So unless you were to go ahead and shovel night, I forgot about this one. So unless you were to go ahead and you know get a backup now, you probably won't be able to play these games on your original 3DS. Now clicking back once more, unless you have a custom firmware one like mine, for example. So that is pretty much what the eShop used to look like on this specific device. Again, it's very cool. I love this specific console. I think it has a ton of history in it. Kind of pulled through Nintendo for a long period of time for since the Wii U's, you know, release was kind of flopped. So that at least they had the 3DS that was still there for, you know, them picking up sales in the meantime. So, and that is basically how the eShop looked like back then, I guess, if you're watching this in the future. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.